name is Dan Hammer. In today's video, we're going to answer the question, is it better to get L-arginine, L-citrulline, and folic acid through food or supplementation? In our companion video, we examine which foods and what quantities you would need to eat to obtain 5 grams of L-arginine, 1 gram of L-citrulline, and 400 micrograms of folic acid. I chose these quantities because most research shows that these are the amounts you would need to eat to obtain a therapeutic effect for these critical amino acids and vitamin. So let me start with just a brief summary. The L-arginine and L-citrulline is for nitric oxide production. Nitric oxide is the master signaling molecule of the cardiovascular system and is critical to proper blood pressure, blood flow, and a host of other important biological functions. L-arginine usually provides a 30 minute to 2 hour window of improved nitric oxide production. L-citrulline extends this improved nitric oxide production to a 24 to 36 hour window. That's why many researchers believe L-citrulline is equally or even more important for sustained nitric oxide production. Folic acid is also a critical vitamin for proper blood cell production and cardiovascular health. With that said, let's look at the foods and the quantities needed. We're also going to talk about calories and price. Although you see dairy products listed as a good source of L-arginine, it's your poorest choice. You would need one gallon plus three quarters of a second gallon to obtain five grams of L-arginine. If it's skim milk, you're looking at 2,500 calories and if you drink whole milk, it's slightly over 4,000 calories and 220 grams of fat. Cost $3.99 for conventional milk on sale versus $10.48 for organic milk. One dozen eggs is another choice, but you'd have to eat them raw, yolk and all, with 915 calories, 55 grams of fat, the costs range from $1.85 on sale to $3.99 for organic. The best choices for attaining 5 grams of L-arginine were 12 ounces of beans. Now this is a 25 ounce container so you'd have to eat half of this. It can be black beans, kidney beans, garbanzo beans, and they come in at 338 calories, 1.5 grams of fat, and the cost range went from 89 cents to $1.59 organic. Another good choice was 10 ounces of tuna you'd have to eat typically two cans of tuna. This represents 535 calories, 18 grams of fat, and depending upon the brand, the price ranged from $3.18 to $4.48 for organic. My personal choice would be 15 ounces of chicken breast at 563 calories, 8 grams of fat, cost is $2.33 or $3.74 for free range chicken. When you're looking at L-citrulline, you really only have one choice. That choice is watermelon. You'll need 1.7 pounds of watermelon, which would be from here to here, and that would mean that you'd eat both the red fruit portion as well as the rind. Now, if you're like most people, you don't eat the rind, so you're going to really need to add another pound of watermelon. So basically this whole watermelon you'd need to consume to get the therapeutic effect of one gram of L-citrulline. Cost range $3.17 to $5.17 organic and the fruit already cut up for you to eat. For 400 grams of folic acid we looked at 20 medium bananas at 2,100 calories. Add four more eggs, 16 eggs at 1,120 calories, 16 slices of whole wheat bread at 1,208 calories, four cups of peas at 424 calories, which means I got to eat both bags of peas, or I could do six and a half cups of spinach at only 46 calories, or the easiest and simplest way was just one cup of total, cer total cereal at 110 calories and 39 cents for this cup. So give me a couple minutes to organize my table here and I'm going to show you the most economical combination of food choices to accomplish this whole process. Okay, my 
two best choices of food combinations to obtain 5 grams of L-arginine, 1 gram of L-citrulline, and 400 micrograms of folic acid would be 12 ounces of beans, so I'd have to eat half of this can, 2.7 pounds of watermelon, because I'm not going to eat the rind, and 1 cup of total. Now, this represents 813 calories, 4 grams of fat, the cost would be $4.45 at a conventional grocery store, or $7.15 for organic food. Now, I'm not a big fan of beans, so my personal choice would be to replace the beans with the 15 ounces of chicken breast. Now, remember, that's almost a pound of meat, and most servings are only 4 ounces, or about a quarter of this amount. Add to that the 2.7 pounds of watermelon and my one cup of total, and you're looking at 1,038 calories, 10.5 grams of fat. Cost would be $5.89 at a conventional grocery store or $9.30 for organic food. That's quite a bit of food to eat, so how does it stack up to supplementation? Give me a couple minutes to set up and I'll show you. All right, I'm ready. I decided to use the cheapest meal, even though I don't like black beans. I need one half of this can of beans, all of this watermelon, one cup of total, to get five grams of L-arginine, one gram of L-citrulline, and 400 micrograms of folic acid. So I stopped at my local health food store and bought three supplements. One side note I'd like to share with you as it regards the L-citrulline supplement. The clerk at Whole Foods didn't even stock this supplement, didn't even know it existed, or how beneficial it is for the production of nitric oxide. I was able to obtain the L-citrulline supplement at my local health food store, but even the owner was not aware of the importance of L-citrulline as it applies to cardiovascular health. Now, using just these three supplements, I would need to take one tablet of the folic acid, two capsules of the L-citrulline, and 10 capsules of L-arginine. Total of 13 tablet capsule combinations at a cost of $1.86. For an extra 34 cents, I could take one scoop of Pro-Arginine Plus and not only get my five grams of pharmaceutical grade L-arginine, one gram of L-citrulline, and 400 micrograms of folic acid, but I would also get nine additional ingredients all specifically designed and clinically shown to improve the health of my endothelial cells and their ability to produce nitric oxide so that I can see real improvements to my cardiovascular system. So, which will it be for you? Conventional food at 813 calories and $4.45, 13 supplements at zero calories and $1.86, or one scoop of Pro-Arginine Plus at 34 calories, $2.30 per serving. The choice is yours, but now you can understand why I choose Pro-Arginine Plus. I wanted to briefly talk about why I recommend and eat organic food. Any medication you take in affects your liver. Any food additive, preservative, added hormone, and chemical ingredient has to be processed by your liver. Your liver is your detoxification center. It's your body's chemical factory with over 500 chemical reactions taking place. For those with sickle cell anemia, you add additional stress to your liver because of the short lifespan of sickle cells. Your liver filters them out and cleanses your body of the dead and broken cells. If you can afford to eat organic, then I would highly recommend it. You're going to help your liver not to have to deal with all these other additives and chemicals so that your liver can function better. Bottom line, it will help to improve your overall health and energy. Now, with that said, have a great day.